One of the great tools that comes with Node is NPM. In this fifth tutorial on Node, we're going to talk about NPM and use it to set up a live local server. Welcome to another tutorial from All Things JavaScript where we help bridge the gap between novice and expert. Before we go through the process of setting up a local server in Node, I want to talk a bit about NPM. NPM is something you will use extensively when working in Node. It is a way to package modules, which we have talked about in the past, and distribute those modules. So let's quickly look at some of the characteristics of NPM. First off, NPM stands for Node Project Manager. And basically what it is, is a command line interface for installing Node packages. So you use it at the terminal prompt, the same place you work with Node. And its purpose is to install Node packages. Well, what is a Node package? Well, really a Node package is a module, but it can be pretty extensive. It can do a lot. And it is put together in a way that it becomes a Node package. There's a JSON file with it that has all the information about what that package requires and how to install that so that you can use it. So basically, NPM is a way for you to grab software that's been created in JavaScript that will help you in your development. So it could be something very simple that extends some fu functionality for you, or it could be something that allows you to run a local server to help with your development. Or it could be a library or a JavaScript framework. All of those are available as node packages and can be installed with NPM. So really, NPM is the largest software repository in the world, as you'll see. Now, how do you find what's available? How do you find what node packages are there? Well, I'm going to show you really quickly npmjs.com. When you first go there, you'll want to sign up. And then you're able to search for and find different packages that are available. And notice how many packages are currently available as of this date. That's a lot. So here's popular libraries on the left. And then here's some categories you can look at for different packages. Now there are many packages that contain the functionality for running a local server as I mentioned. The package I'm going to use is called live server. So I just want to type that one in really quick. Show you the kind of information you can get from this. So here's live server. It gives a description, simple development HTTP server with live reload capability. So basically when we save something on our page, the page we're working in, the HTTP page or the JavaScript page, it will reload the site for us automatically so that we can see what the results are. And most of them have that functionality. Now, as a developer, running a local server is really a necessity. Not only are there certain things that require a server, but running a local server that refreshes automatically can help you speed up your development time. So we're going to specifically install this live server and run it. So let's look at how we do that. So I'm going to now move to my terminal prompt. And the first thing that needs to be done in order to use a package, a node package, is you have to install it. And that is done with NPM. The node package manager is the one that does all this for us. So we type npm first and then we type install now at this point you can you specify the package you're wanting to install and we're wanting to install live server so i indicate that and then i want to install this globally and so i'm going to do a dash g and that will install it globally on my machine so that i can access it where i need it and we go ahead and press return and then it will, it will start installing it. Now something to be aware of. For certain node packages, you may need to enter sudo. And what will happen after you enter sudo and then the command, like 
npm install live server, just like I did here. You could do that same thing. The first thing it's going to ask you for is a password. And so you'll need to enter your super user password. And this will give you access to do this. So if you enter a command and you find it's not allowing you to do it, make sure you enter sudo sudo in the front of that command and then it will have you enter password most likely that's what's hanging it up that's what's not allowing you to use it okay so we've got this installed live server is now installed now the next step to running live servers you need to go to the directory where your files are where you're working on files so I'm gonna enter pwd print working directory to see where I'm at this is the path I'm currently on and ls I'm just gonna list the files as well and yes these are the ones I want to display so currently I want to be able to display present.html and here's all these other files in here so I'm in the correct place if you weren't in the correct place you would need to enter CD and then the path to where you want to go now one little trick that I usually do on a Mac is I enter CD and then I drag the file folder to my terminal application it puts the entire path in for me so I don't have to type it all out it's just a quicker way if it's a long path but once you're to the correct location then you simply start the server and the way we do that is enter live server and I press return and notice that it immediately made my browser window the focus and the IP address that it goes to is 127.0.0.1 colon 8080. So port 8080. So if it doesn't automatically open a window for you in your browser, you can go ahead and open that, open up a tab, and you can type in localhost colon 8080 or 127.0.0.1 colon 8080. That is basically the path to your local server once the server is running. That's how you can access that. And notice all the pages that it shows here. These are the pages that are available for me to display. If there were an index.html, it would probably just automatically display that. But I don't have an index.html. I'm just going to click on present.html and we'll show that first. And here's the page which I was showing at the start of this tutorial. And now it's in a window, a browser window that is being where the HTML file is being served up from a local server. So the server's running on my machine, serving it up. I'm accessing it through this browser window. Now let's look at the live refresh capabilities. So if I make a change here, let's say I just add a exclamation point at the end of that. When I save, the page will automatically update. And something else you will see if I look at terminal, you will see that change detected. So it detected a change and it indicates which file was changed and then it automatically serves that up, the new version of that file. So as I'm working in these files, I'm getting to see the updates right away. And so that really helps cut down on development time. So that's a little bit about NPM, a definite friend when you're working in Node. And that's the process of installing and running a local server in Node using NPM. So hopefully that was helpful. Now when you're done with the server and you're ready to shut it down, you can simply go back to your terminal and type control C. And that will cause it to end. Then the next time you need it, you just start up like we did before, live dash server. Now before we're done here, please hit the like button. It can help others find this tutorial. And if you want to dive deeply into JavaScript, I provided discount links to all my courses in the description section. If you haven't subscribed yet, you can hit the button or click the circle link on the left, one with my face. 
I release a new tutorial each week. You can also click the video link in the center to access another tutorial right away, or click the link on the right to visit my website, allthingsjavascript.com, for a complete list of tutorials and other resources. Thanks for watching.